one COVID vaccine once a year. That's the goal the U.S. Food and Drug Administration is working toward. As of last week, CDC data shows only 20% of people vaccinated have received an updated booster. In-depth reporter Michelle Quesada looks into the impact a flu-like model might have. The COVID vaccine schedule can be confusing for anyone, especially parents vaccinating their children for the first time. Do you get the primary series? Do you get the bivalent booster? The FDA is working on a solution. Hi. Yeah, she loves this one. In the first year of her daughter Olivia's life, this mom had to make many vaccine decisions, like whether to get her vaccinated for COVID. It doesn't make sense to get shot after shot after shot. There's a lot of information that would make any parent skeptical. It can be overwhelming having to start with the primary series, then a bivalent booster. That's primarily why the U.S. Food and Drug Administration is trying to change the COVID-19 vaccine model. I think they're going to say today is why don't we just make this a once a year a booster like we get with the flu. And if you've never been vaccinated, this would be the vaccine you would start with. Infectious disease specialist Dr. Larry Bush said right now the updated booster available is the bivalent and it's outdated. The variants that were put into this bivalent booster are, is not even the variant that we're seeing 50% of the cases have right now. The current booster is still showing some efficacy. It's, it's about 45% effective in adults to prevent symptomatic disease which is not nearly as good as the other vaccines were initially. But the ongoing challenge is a virus with new strains becoming dominant every few months. Normally the flu changes in seasons. This seems to be changing in, in half seasons or even quarter of seasons. The discussions with the FDA point to an updated vaccine release in June. Once the FDA and CDC make decisions, new recommendations will be issued. Michelle Quesada, WPTV News Channel 5.